What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to make a quick video about how to use ChatGPT to generate some questions for your classes. Uh, we've had a couple qu questions from different people throughout the district on how to do this, um, mostly to generate questions for testing and, and whatnot. So I wanna walk you through how to do that. Um, so if we just go to our search bar in Google and just type in chat GPT, right? It'll take us right there. And the first thing should come up, chat GPT, open AI. We're gonna go here. And you can sign in with Google or make an account, a personal account or whatever. Um, I'm using my school account for work, obviously. Um, when, once you get in, um, you'll kind of come to this screen right here. How can I help you today? Now, a little quick tip here on how to use ChatGPT. Use this like you are talking to a person. And as you type in things to ChatGPT, you can keep the conversation ongoing. When you have conversations with ChatGPT, it'll store these you can delete these or keep these if you need to uh, reference those um so there's some things here on, that i've been talking with chat gpt i can always go back and reference this really quickly i want to show you a conversation that i had with chat gpt because we had a math teacher who said hey what's the best way to kind of generate some questions for testing okay and so i went and i played around with it and it was pretty awesome so let me talk about how I did that. So I'm gonna to go to slope questions and answers, which is the name that ChatGPT assigned to this conversation that we had. And I'm gonna scroll all the way back up the top. So I was gonna see if for this teacher, if ChatGPT could generate questions for tests because she said she wanted to have a bunch of different questions to use for different kids so they wouldn't cheat. So I just came in and see what it, what it could do. And I said, create 30 math questions on slope. Well, it said, absolutely. Here are 30 math questions related to slope. Boom, 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 boom. Now, the teacher had given me one of her tests, and this wasn't in the format that I saw in her test. So I was like, okay, ChatGPT, let's see what else you could do. I said, I got more specific, and that's the best way to do when you're talking to this is be even more specific. So I kept the conversation going. I said, well, here's an example of a math problem. And I took it from one of her tests, right? I said, use point slope to fo form, use point slope form to write the linear equation to slope, intercept form. And then I gave her one of the questions, M equals three, yada, yada, yada. And then I said, create 15 similar problems. And I said, absolutely. And it did. So this would obviously save you tons of time, tons of time. Um, if you can uh, provide it a question, it can generate these questions for you. You could double check them. I always double check AI, make sure it's falling. So because I'm not a math teacher, I taught Spanish. Right. I was like, I wonder what it could have did for me back in the day. So I said, all right, well, it's pretty amazing. I said, well, we are studying AR ending verbs in Spanish, generate 15 questions to test my students on their knowledge. So I'm being very specific with chat GPT. I'm saying what exactly we're studying. And I'm saying to generate 15 questions to test my students just so it knows. And it did. Now, the only problem that I had with this, the only beef that I had as a Spanish teacher was that these questions were not in Spanish. It was saying, hey, conjugate this verb hablar to the present form so it's not bad right but i want to do it right i want to be even more specific in what i'm telling chat gpt to do so i said okay i said i rephrased my question down here i said we're studying ar verbs in spanish generate 15 fill in the blank spanish questions to test my students on their knowledge and it was pretty amazing boom there it was in literally five seconds it did this so this probably would have saved me what you know 15 minutes, 20 minutes of me just kind of going through, making all these different questions and everything. But then I kind of got an idea. I said, hey, I have 30 students in a class, right? What if I wanted to give each of those students three questions that are different from any other questions? That way, I don't have to worry about cheating. I don't have to worry about anything. They're all gonna have three questions and they're all gonna be completely different. But I want at least one of those questions to have the vosotros form, which is a y'all form, right? which is this form right here. I want each student to have one question that starts with this, but I want the rest of the sentence to be different. So that's like wildly specific, right? And you could do this too for your subject. So I just asked it, asked away. I said, okay, we're studying AR verbs in Spanish, generate 90 fill in the blank Spanish questions to test my students on their knowledge. And then I kept going, separate the 90 questions into three questions for each of my 30 students. And in each set of three questions, have one question with the vosotros form. And I was like, there's no way that this is gonna happen. And boom, absolutely. Here are 90 fill in the blank questions for AR verbs in Spanish, divided into three sets of questions for each of the 30 students. Each set includes one question with the vosotros form. Student one, 
right? Three questions. One of those had the Vosotros student form, right? Three questions, right? Vosotros form. And notice they're all different. <laughs> they're all different. So people wouldn't be able to cheat anyway. <laughs> you know, all the verbs are different. And it did stop here. It said, hey, continue the pattern for each uh, three set of questions for each student's and I was like, no, 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 no. You don't get off that easy. I said, keep going with your above generations of the questions I asked of you. And it kept going. And then he got tired again, right? So he did have his limitations with how much he did it, but he was doing exactly what I told him to do. And whenever he st he stopped, I said, keep going with your above generations. So think about how much time this would have saved me as a teacher to say, generate this. This is exactly what I want. And this is the beauty of using AI in your classroom. It is literally like an assistant that you can use to help you create content, create questions, um, help you out. I encourage each one of you guys to try this out. Um, this was pretty mind blowing um, of what it could do. Hope this video helps you. If you have any questions, please reach out to your ITS team. Thank you so much for your time.